Donald Trump Jr. on his uh, triggered podcast this week or web show. I don't really know what it is. It seems more like a web show than a podcast. But anyway, he tried to take some shots at Ron DeSantis after DeSantis's botched presidential launch on Twitter spaces this week. But unfortunately for Don Jr., he is also much like DeSantis prone to gaffes. So instead of attacking Ron DeSantis, Donald Trump Jr. accidentally attacked his own father by saying his name instead of Ron DeSantis. Here's what Jr. said on his web show this week. Once you actually put out the facts, I think a different image is going to emerge. Trump has the charisma of a mortician and the energy that makes Jeb Bush look like an Olympian. You said, you said Trump, you didn't say DeSantis. And here's the funny part in the video, you find it in the link in the description of this video. In that video, he pauses for a second, like, uh Oh, I just said Trump, but that was a good one liner. I don't have to redo it. So then he just keeps on talking. Like he doesn't go back and correct himself, even though he clearly understood at that point, like, Oh God, I said Trump, not DeSantis. Well, anyway, blah, 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 blah. Listen, man, I do this every day. I do this uh, 11 times a day. You misspeak sometimes. You get tongue tied. You know, your throat gets dry. Sometimes you have throat noises, whatever comes up when you're doing videos. I know you're new to it, so I'm just trying to give you some pointers here. But I've been doing this for damn near 20 years now. So trust me. Like sometimes you screw up, you slip up, you make the little Freudian slips. But what you do, even if you had a good zinger after them, you got to come back and correct it. Cause let's be honest. He's got the charisma of a mortician <laughs> and the energy that makes Jeb Bush look like an Olympian. It's not a bad line. I'll give it to you. It's not a bad line, but you do kind of ruin it when you say the wrong name. So you got to go back and correct it so that people like me don't have to sit there and say what a friggin' moron you are. But as I said, junior then regathered himself and he came out and he's called out DeSantis for his voice, which he said is a nasal and effeminate voice and said it was that bad. Nasal and effeminate. Effeminate. So what, what does that have to do? Are you trying to somehow suggest that I, I don't even know. I don't even want to make assumptions about what it is you're trying to say that he has an effeminate voice because that's just downright stupid. It, it's, it's actually not even effeminate. It is nasally. I give you that, but I mean, come on, is this really the best you got? I mean, there are so many other things to attack Ron DeSantis for your father's super PACs that are, that are supporting him have done a much better job attacking DeSantis. You got to come with a little bit more than, Oh, I don't like the sound of his voice. Oh, he's got the charisma of a mortician or my dad does. I don't know because I don't like any of them. Like you could attack him for his policies. You could attack him for not being able to draw a crowd. You could attack him for the recent video that came out this week of him wiping his snot on his own supporters. There are so many great and wonderful things to attack Ron DeSantis for, but the reason junior and the rest of the Trump team can't go after DeSantis for all those things is because they actually support them. And that's one of the reasons this Republican primary is going to be so friggin' stupid. We are going to see Republicans trying to attack one another, but they're not going to have any substance to attack one another because substantively they're all the same. They all want the same horrible things for the country. We want tax cuts for the wealthy. We want to legislate the LGBTQ community out of existence. We want to ban books. We want to ban critical race theory. We want to punish teachers. We want to do whatever the hell we want. We want to control women's bodies. You all agree on the same stupid things. So you can't attack each other on those stupid things. And that's the point of this video from Trump Jr. That's why it matters. Not that he misspoke and accidentally attacked his dad. That's just the funny part. The stupid part is that they can't attack one another over policy because they all agree on the same things. So buckle up folks. This primary season is about to get a hell of a lot dumber. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button. 
and help Aspen oh. not be so grumpy. <laughs>